Hi, I'm the fish, and he is the corn. Welcome to another 58 cent show. <laughs> no, what I'm referring to is our channel, the Fish and Corn Show, it has been in existence for like two years, and we've monetized and we've earned 58 cents. You know, I gotta figure out how to collect that 58 cents corn. <laughs> Because uh, I was very startled. I mean, I thought I would see actually zero, to be honest with you. But I was kind of hoping for like the lottery thing where like, fuck yeah, there's like a $99, you know? But not the case. We got 58 cents. You know, 58 cents is still... We're still cents. like uh, 41, dollar, uh, 41 cents shy of <laughs> like a burger. A McDonald's. 99 cent Whopper. Yeah, not, not including tax. Yeah, not including tax. But um, we made 58 cents on the show, so we're doing good. If you wanted further proof that this is a labor of love, well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, we've traveled, we've loved, we've lost. Lost. I gotta close that curtain. Always on the show, we're worried about you guys, so, you know, we're trying to make the, the set look a lot better. But anyways, this space is much bigger than I'm used to. You know, the, with the addition of the curtains, the acoustics has gotten really good. Yeah, it's not as not all not all boomy. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Corey, I'm gonna smoke this thing real quick. Mm. It's an oddly shaped cigar. It's box press. Mm. It's okay. I mean, these things usually hit good. It's actually not a bad cigar. Mm. It's gonna be a good couple of episodes for you guys. Because when the fish is in love with the cigar, he's in love with the show. <laughs> when the fish is in love. <laughs> That's too funny. Dude. Uh, uh, shit. Oh, did I tell you, Corn, uh, we had via, uh, um, via Canada, mm -hmm. but he was originally from Ireland, and he's been living in uh, Canada for like seven years now. We had this uh, cop from Canada Stay with us at the Airbnb. It was actually pretty cool. He didn't look like he'd billy club you. I mean, is that what other countries look like? Their cops are more... Well... He didn't come here with... This is nice. This is really... You like Airbnb. Airbnb. cops tend to be their own special breed of dickhead. Each and every cop. You could tell this guy would be a dickhead, but... You know, that's the thing. I mean, it's a tolerable dickhead because Brock's turtle is a dickhead. Um, but I like the guy. I would tour on this guy. It'd be interesting to go on a world tour with uh, Box Turtle. Yeah, but he is a dick. Yeah, but you know he's Box Turtles are dick. Yeah, I see. If we do the world tour, how long do you think it would be if we did this world tour with Box Turtle in the original uh, Breakfast Before Breakfast? If it was the four of us, like we had um, like one or two excursions, like the old style Vegas. Trip yeah, where we would have to explain to someone. Because the box turtle has been box turtle. I mean, remember he had that husband hate him. Um, would we have to like you know excuse our friend? He didn't know he was your wife or your girlfriend. Yeah, I think would that happen in the trip? You think at any point? Most definitely. Because he has a predilection for your married a, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, he has uh, boundary issues, and yeah, that's a new one. I never thought about that boundary issues. He doesn't mind crossing the line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah, true. It's like, mm, uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying Younger I'm better. Younger. Uh, I just mm -hmm. don't like people in my bubble, so I don't get in other people's yeah, bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, this but is a, really a, a friend of ours. Just, yeah, I don't like people in my bubble. But it's your younger brother's friend, friend, more or less. Mm -hmm. Your brother's a straight shooter. How did he hook up with the box turtle? High school. Okay, but they're still friends, though. Yeah, Because yeah. Box Turtle is still Box Turtle. Yeah. Cruising around in a Porsche, in a bachelor pad. Picking up young girls. Young girls. I have to give it to Box Turtle. Yeah. That last that one last girl had, was pretty hot. Yeah, I would, uh, you know, as a single single man, it was, he was bound to be able to I don't hunt. know. Personally, I'm kind of too old for any of that shit, so to deal with their bullshit... Um, who, 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 who killed it with who on that one? Who terminated this thing? I think she did. 
She wanted to get married or something. Oh, God. Well, you know. We'll, we'll, Boxster wanted to remain Boxster. Yeah. I mean, he just got divorced a little while back. I, mean, I don't think he's looking to, you know, get uh, set up in another fucking long-term relationship like that. Would you? Um, I wouldn't. Maybe at some point, because I don't want to, like, die alone. I mean. We're all going to die alone. You know what I mean, though. I mean, unless it's a suicide pact or something, you're all going to die alone. But, um, yeah, box turtle, in and out of this relationship. Um, but, uh, he, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's having fun, dude. I mean, he's making good money. He's in a place in his career where he doesn't have to worry about it. He's got, moving up. He's got plenty of people underneath him, plenty of people above him who are responsible for the real shit. And so he's kind of in a sweet spot professionally. And you know, yours truly is collecting unemployment. <laughs> so why would why would he want to fuck that up with getting married and having kids? I guess if you wanted to start, but like I mean, your, your brother I, didn't. I, I guess I, I got married and had kids because I wanted kids all my life. But what about someone like your your younger sibling, who was once married, has a kid, but now is married? No, not married. Yeah. Has a kid. You don't get it. it. For him, it was all about the kid too. No, but now, how come they, if it's just a flip floppy thing, can't they just do the deed? I mean, or is it like uh, me? It's just going to make time for it. Well, there's a lot of time. I think he's just, more burnt on the last marriage thing and he doesn't want to. He's playing this. marriage, though. Well, he's playing house, but, you know, this one seems to have her act together. So I don't think there's a, the same kind of power or dynamic involved there. You see what I'm saying? She makes her own money. She's got her own And she house. ain't quitting her job. And she ain't quitting her job <laughs> to go fucking, you know. Like uh, breakfast before breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that's a fucking disaster. I see him in a minor version of Casino where she's such and such and he's De Niro but not quite. You know what and I mean? She's Sharon Stone? Yeah. Oh. But, not, but we're talking, that's why that's I said really not quite. That's really Sharon Stone, dude. That's what I'm saying, not quite. Because it, it is it breakfast before. It isn't even close. It's not quite. It's kind of... Well, that's just just misleading. That's not even close, man. Yeah. I just watched the the scene. I, I don't watch it all the time. You know, I've seen it many times. But every now and then, you'll be flipping AMC. Yeah. And you come across this. I always come across, like, every single time, it's that restaurant scene where they're already fucking on the fritz. I want you to kill him! I don't want you... How the fuck am I going to kill him? You're my fucking friend. When she's with Joe, when she's with Joe Pesci. And yeah, at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Causing a scene. I, I, I always come into that era of the movie. You know, I never understood that character's fixation with Sharon Stone. I mean, if you've got that kind of pull, right? Get some other ass. Get some other piece of ass. I mean, nothing. I wouldn't be with that drama. Part. And, and, and I mean, even if you appreciate drama, the drama, because you were like, you're more, no, like, to be honest, drama. you, you like drama more than me. I get scared. I, remember I, I love drama. I had that, that, pan, I'm going to call the cop sign. You remember yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the fish had a, a wacky girlfriend, a wacky girlfriend, but it was very tame. Yeah. I like drama. Okay. <laughs> but I also recognize that drama has an expiration date. It goes so far and no further because I mean, you know, Righteous indignation and um, insane cattiness is attractive on a young woman. It's just scary on an older woman. Okay, see, it's not Sharon Stone, but it's some nice young shit. That's my point. You'll put up with that garbage for only so long. Could you deal with that garbage with the... Ooh, I guess you could play the whole dresser thing if you meet a very doting, hot, white trash chick. That could be fun. It's like, dude, get your jeans. I'm going to take you shopping. You know what I mean? It's like, oh. We're, we're, we're a you know, we're a couple of Donald Trumps. Hey, it's locker room talk. And this ain't a locker room. Actually, it's shed talk. It's a shed, so it's shed talk. Which is our studio. Oh, that's that's just too funny, dude. You, you know what's what's really sad about this whole Donald Trump thing is that really lots of people talk that way. But here on the show, we couldn't get away with it. We, we couldn't rock get stars. away with any of that shit. But plenty of people talk that kind of garbage. And it isn't just, you know, you know, frat 
boy types or jock types or you know he-man types or any of that shit it's you have church types that talk like that you know you have uh you know these uh social justice warrior types that talk like that when they're with their bros okay oh yeah i remember the fish was part of a group religious really yeah. yeah and of a, of a church group a bible group and they talk like that maybe not with the profanity and maybe not with the vulgarity of it but you know when someone's like you see looking nice uh-huh. it's 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 code for like, did you see that fucking bun hugging fucking yoga patch that yes. our sister in Christ is wearing? <laughs> that our sister in Christ is wearing. They identify, but they can decode it. They can decode it. They're still ogling, and it still goes in the spank bank. Yeah, I did. Yeah. They, they, my, I think it's because I remember I uh, told you about this real quick. I think when the fish came out and said, hey, I want. Oh, a lady. sister in yeah, a sister in our Christ because she's not my real sister. I think because I'm not white, they well, told me you can't go with that. You, it's supposed to be different. I but then I see these people hooking up. Well, I could have told you that those kind of church things are all fucking about whiteies. Whiteies. <laughs> hey, look, people, we're at the eleven and a half minute. I'm gonna cut this one and come right back into the fish and corn show. Brought to you by paying and paying. <laughs> And RE therapy. And RE therapy. All 58 cents for YouTube. Alright. Let's push to the roof. Woof, woof. woof, woof. No. <laughs>